At Brisbane Catholic Education this International Women's Day, we're recognising and thanking the many women and girls in our schools, offices and learning communities for their immense and unique contribution to the story of Catholic education. But International Women's Day is not just a celebration, it's also a day to accelerate action on gender parity. Every one of us should be asking ourselves, how can I help to continue to break the bias? Because we all have a role to play in forging a more gender balanced world. So as a member of the executive team at Brisbane Catholic Education, and a mother of two young boys and a daughter, I pledge to help break the bias by challenging assumptions around ensuring all women and girls in our communities have access to a safe, secure and financially stable environment. We're also asking our students and staff to make a break the bias pledge and we'll be sharing their responses with you in the coming week. With approximately 80% of our employees at Brisbane Catholic Education Women, as Acting Executive Director, I would like to take this opportunity to voice my appreciation for their significant contribution to BCE and our communities. One in three primary school principals and one in four secondary principals at BCE are women. And with a strategic focus on diversity and inclusion, our goal is to continue to move towards equality in school leadership under our Breakthrough to Principalship program. Both professionally and personally, I've been blessed with courageous and inspiring women all my life. I'm particularly blessed to be married to Bernadette for the past 37 years, a woman of great strength and compassion, who is always encouraging others to be their best. She has been a powerful model in our family for authentic, respectful and accepting relationships. These qualities have been reinforced in our four children, and this was brought home recently by our youngest, Siobhan, who after five years working in corporate business and marketing with LinkedIn, resigned to pursue a new career and has commenced studying to be a midwife. Why? Because she believes this will allow her to be her best. And it's not just in our workplace or our homes, it's also in our social and education settings that we should be celebrating the achievements of women. Beyond that, it is vital we remember the fight for equality in many situations is not over. So today, and for the other 364 days of the year, I pledge to help break the bias by challenging gender stereotypes discrimination and bias. At BCE, we also continue to highlight the incredible work of our courageous women and girls in our schools and acknowledge the great work they are doing to create opportunities for themselves and for generations to come. So, who are the inspirational women in your life? And what pledge do you make to help break the bias?